For more, let's bring in Senate Intel Committee member Senator James Langford from the great state of Oklahoma. Senator, how do you see it? I do know that Qantas Airlines was warning pilots of Chinese warships interfering with their radio traffic just today. So, yeah, we've got Putin Xi actually meeting in Moscow, signing agreements together, organizing new pipelines. So, President Biden is cutting off all pipelines here in the United States. Xi and, and Putin are actually expanding pipelines in that area, expanding energy uh, development across that entire region. Uh, they're signing security pacts. Uh, it wasn't that many days ago. Uh, China and Russia were actually doing naval operations together to be able to practice doing military drills. So, this is a, this is a closer relationship. And the administration is saying, oh, no big deal. Of course, the administration was also saying no big deal uh, when President Xi was actually negotiating a final deal between Iran and Saudi Arabia to bring those two together. So as Xi is expanding Chinese influence around the world, people are struggling to try to figure out what Biden's foreign policy is. Now, Senator, I want to get your take on this as well. President Biden has signed a bill declassifying intel around the origins of the COVID pandemic. Listen to this exchange between uh, Fox's Peter Ducey and John Kirby at the White House earlier today. He says he will declassify COVID origins intel except info that would harm national security. Is there a bigger national security threat than something that killed 1.1 yeah. million people? Yeah. And <laughs> does the White House hope that the lab leak theory is not true? We don't have a hope one way or the other, Peter. What we want is the ground truth. So, Senator, is hurting national security really code for hurting the Democrat Party? is hurting the line that they've been running with for now months and months and into years and years now on this. Just put all the facts out there a lot of when to be able to see it. The FBI's looked at the information and they said this this looks like it came out of a lab. The Department of Energy, they've looked at all the facts and information. They said this looks like this came out of the lab. Now, they're not saying that this was intentional. Uh, they're still trying to be able to pull the facts on this. But to be able to say this came from some bat or some animal there, they would say, great, well, show us where it is. If this is happening in nature, they've been looking at lots of different animals all over their region, and they've yet to see it actually show up in nature. And so this looks like this just came out of the lab, and there's lots of information from that. So allow that information just to be able to come out and allow the American people to see it. Back here at home, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen speaking again today, trying to clean up the mess she created when you were questioning her last week. We'll play some of that. I'm concerned you're about to accelerate that by encouraging anyone who has a large deposit in a community bank to say, we're not going to make you whole, but if you go to one of our preferred banks, we will make you whole at that point. That's certainly not something that we're encouraging. That is happening right now. So she tried to clarify, well, she did clarify that today about depositors, Senator. Well, she tried to step out and just say, we support community banks. Well, good. I'm glad they support community banks. They're the backbone of our banking system across the entire country. Uh, Bank of America and J.P. Morgan Chase, I mean, th those are all great banks on it, great American banks on it, but they're not going to be in small town Oklahoma. They're just not going to be there. They're not going to cover the deposits for a local church or a convenience store or a grocery store. Th they're not going to do that. They're not going to be down the street. That's going to be community banking. And the challenge here is if they're setting up a system where if you're friends with somebody the FDIC and you're one of their preferred relationships that are out there in a big bank, we're going to cover all your deposits. And if we don't know you, you're just from somewhere out there in the Netherlands, we're not going to cover you. That's a terrible system uh, for the United States. It's a terrible setup for our community banks, and it's going to destroy a lot of our community banks across the country. So all we're looking for is for them to be consistent, fair, and clear on the rules, and for them not to panic over a weekend and to say, I'm going to give special preference to people we know, and I'm not going to give special preference to people we don't, because that's going to hurt community banking long term. Oh, indeed. Senator, it was great to see you. Thank you so much. Senator. That's good to see you again. Thanks, Senator. James.